For professional workers, the EN388 standard is by far the most commonly found in gloves. It gives an indication on protection levels given against mechanical risks. In 2016, the standard was updated because of all the new materials and features that has been introduced in the glove manufacturing process. Here is a complete guide to EN388 2016 with all the differences compared to the old one. This is the symbol for EN388. Under the shields are digits and characters symbolizing different properties and protection levels. The first digit represents abrasion resistance. The glove material is sanded down by this machine until it is breached. The more cycles needed before the material is breached, the higher the rating for the glove. In 2016, a new standardized sandpaper was introduced for higher reliability when testing. The second digit represents cut resistance, also called a coup cut test. The glove material is exposed to a circular cutting blade at a constant velocity and pressure. The number of cutting cycles are counted and the more cycles the glove material can withstand, the higher the rating level. If the glove material is deemed to have dulled the blade, the test is replaced with a new cut resistant test ISO 13997. This is marked with an X instead of a number. The third digit represents tear resistance. Here, the glove material is torn apart by this machine and the force is measured in Newton. The higher amount of force needed to tear it apart, the higher the rating level. This test is unchanged from the old EN388. The fourth digit represents puncture resistance. The glove material is stretched and wedged between two discs. Then the material is penetrated by a standardized nail, 4.5 mm in thickness. The force needed to penetrate the material is measured in Newton, and the higher amount of force needed, the higher the rating. This test is unchanged from the old EN388. The fifth character represents the new higher cut resistance test. To get a more accurate measurement of the glove cut resistance, a new cut test was introduced 2016. It is designed to give a better representation to real-world situations. The blade is straight and cuts the material in a straight motion. After each pass, the test blade is replaced with a new one and the force on the blade is increased. The amount of force needed to cut through the material is measured in Newton. The higher amount of force needed, the higher the rating. If the glove has not been tested for higher cut protection, this character is marked with an X. The sixth character represents the new impact resistance test. This test is based on how motorcycle gloves are being tested according to EN13594-2015. To pass, the gloves must meet the requirements of level 1. A striker is dropped on the glove impact protection and if the average force passing through the glove is 7 kN or below, the glove passes the test. This means the protective material safely dissipates harmful force away from the hand. Choosing the right glove is crucial to ensure adequate protection in environments with mechanical hazards.